Alright guys, welcome back to Texas Digital Gaming. Now, this is just going to be a brief tutorial on how to install pack mods. If you have ever used cooked file mods in the past, then you basically already know these steps. There is literally a one step difference. So, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and head over to the desktop and we're actually going to be creating the folder that we need to install our packs to. So, go ahead and head over there. Now the fastest way to get to where you want to go is to hold down the Windows key, press R, and of course it popped it up in my other screen here. Now Steam and Epic users are both going to use the same path, Windows users will use this one here. I will leave both these pasted in the comment section, so just for easy use that way, or of course you can get them from the modding discord if you need be. But go ahead and copy and paste whichever of those you need into the run command and press OK. And once you're here, what you, all you're going to have to do is right click, you're going to create a new folder, and you're going to name that Packs. That is it. You're done with this part. From here, we're going to head over to the modding Discord to download the ones that we want. Now once you're on the Discord, if you have not been here before, go ahead and make sure you read through the rules and pay close attention to them because they do actually inform you on how to gain access to the rest of the server. Now if you have been here before, go ahead and just go straight down to the mod section. And for the sake of this video, we will be doing both the Prestige and the Cheap Building 3.1. Cheap Building 3.1, I'm going to show you on this because it does have a slightly different way that you're going to install it for the simple fact that there are multiple versions of the cheap building in here to let you choose between which look it is that you want. Now go ahead and download those and then head over to the place that you decided to download them to. Okay now once we're back over on the desktop of course I have the location that I actually downloaded my mods to plus I still have the location brought up where we created our packs folder. Now the only thing you need to do with the pack itself the no prestige here is you're going to take this and you were just going to simply drag and drop it into the packs folder. It will copy it right over there. And if you open it up, there it is. Now the cheap building 3.1 is a little bit different. The only thing that you're going to have to do here is take one extra step though, and that is going to actually be go extract all. And it popped it up in the other screen. Go extract. And it does pop up a second window, but we'll close that for now. And as you can see, it creates a new folder. Go ahead and open that up, and you'll see it has multiple packs inside of it. The, the only thing that this is, is multiple versions of the same Cheap Building 3.1. It's just different looks, depending on what it is you want. You can only use one of these at a time. So just simply click whichever it is you want, whether it be the Armory, Auto Shop, Latrine. We'll go ahead and pick the Armory. And just like the other pack, drag, drop it into the packs folder. That's it, you're done. You can open it up, both of them are in there, you're finished. Go ahead and start up the game and those will take effect. Now do keep in mind that just like with cooked mods, these can override each other if you're trying to install two mods that affect the same things. So if you have two different mods from two different modders that both affect weapons or whatever it is, check which weapons those are affecting because otherwise whichever one goes in last will override the one that was before it. And cooked mods will always override pack mods. So if you have a cheap building that is in cooked mod form, it will override whichever one you have in pack form. So just keep that in mind. Like I said, we are moving away from anything that's cooked and eventually we will have all packs on the discord we just haven't had them all converted over yet so bear with us on that but that's going to be basically it that's it for this video guys um i will try to get some other stuff posted as far as if you want to make your own packs how to do that and there's not much to it and there's just the basic editing you'll have to do in the asset editor for whichever it is that you want to mod and i'll actually have some of those videos posted later on today so that's going to be it for now, guys. This is Texas Digital Gaming. Out.